Good afternoon, John Colgrove here of Cornerstone Financial Team. Thank you for joining us for our weekly Facebook Live session. Uh, a couple things about our firm in case this is the first time you join us. Cornerstone Financial Team is a small financial planning practice, family owned here in beautiful Suwannee, Georgia. We work mainly with couples, individuals as well with their retirement planning, estate planning as well. Uh, we take folks from sometimes first time investors all the way up through seniors. We work with everyone. It's almost like from uh, basically from cradle to grave <laughs> because we have clients as young as newborns who their parents have established things for. And we have clients into uh, 90 years old and plus, okay? So the majority of what we do is we help folks with retirement income planning and estate planning. We would love the opportunity to do that with you as well. By the way, if you're watching this and you're interested in sharing us with other friends, share the, share out on Facebook. Let them watch a few of our videos and learn about us and uh, be able to check us out on their own before we maybe have an informal call together. So today's session is gonna be a little bit different. Today, I'm going to be giving thanks. This is the week of Thanksgiving, and I just thought that was something really appropriate to do because, y'all, 2020 has been a challenge in every which way. Every which way we can be challenged, all of us have been challenged. And I want to be able to provide to you and give some thanks for what it is that we've gone through, all of us together this year. First and foremost, one thing I just wanted to say, this is a small business here. Cornerstone Financial Team is the epitome of a small town, small business in America today. And when we went through what we went through, and all of us did in March and April especially, I'm so proud to be able to say that this group stayed open, we stayed employed, we continued to help our clients. We did have a time where we paused in-person meetings for a little while due to COVID regulations and, and just out of need, but we kept operating. And, and I just am so proud of that to the folks that work with us on our team. But most importantly, where I'm giving thanks for that is to you. Because the reason we were able to stay open, the reason we stayed fully employed, the reason we continue to thrive is because our clients, you specifically, continue to trust us. There's no other way for me to put it than that. It was due to you that we still are here. Uh, there are other businesses that can't say the same right now, restaurants especially, that they've closed their doors and when COVID's over, there's some of them aren't going to open back up. But as a small business owner, I wanted to say thank you for helping us continue to operate as we have and thrive as a practice to continue to help you and all of our clients as well. So some of the things we're thankful for. I want you to back up here a few months, get to mid-March. And when COVID really broke loose, we went through a historic market decline in March and April. Now, not historic for the depth of the drop, but historic for the speed of it. Now, I've spoken on this before, but I'll just very quickly tell you this. Typically, when we go through a bull market, which is a good market, bear market, which when things are down, and then a bull market again, we call bull to bear to bull a cycle. The average cycle takes a year and a half to go through. As an example, think October of 07 through March of 09. Okay, that's a perfect example of a cycle taking about a year and a half. Guys, we did a full cycle in 17 days. 17 days, we went bowl to bear to bowl. Now, that's not a roller coaster. That's a drop from 30,000 feet without a parachute. Okay, and the reason I bring that back up is because through that, we did not have clients calling us up you know, a hundred calls in a day saying, get me out of the stock market. We did have people concerned, but do you know I had more phone calls from people not complaining about their account being down 20%, which we saw that with folks. I had people calling us up asking me, where are the opportunities? I was blown away. Now y'all, I went through this in 07 and 08 with clients too, but this, this round particularly, I had people asking, where are the opportunities? Where should I be investing? That type of drive and just fortitude that I saw from investors led me as well to then look for opportunistic investing uh, places to do. We did that. We did that inside of oil and energy. We did that inside of tech. We did that inside of hospitality industries, the airline industries, hotel, even cruise lines for places for people that made sense. We did those. And y'all, because of that kind of chutzpah, that we got from clients and that drive, it drove me to, led us to that research 
And we had some people that really were rewarded unbelievably handsomely through this as a result. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice, by the way, is a little bit gone. I got to enjoy the Georgia game this past Saturday. So uh, my kids got to hear me yell at it a little bit. And my voice is a little short, so thanks. It's for uh, bearing with me there. So I just wanted to go through that part. So we went through a historic drop, and through that, you stayed with us. And I can tell you right now, I do not have one client, not one, and we have over 800. There was not one client that completely pulled the plug and just got out of the market in that time, not one. And I'm just so proud of that. That's That was your decision to do that. <clears throat> so as the pandemic wore on, we're all wondering, you know, what's gonna come next? We have a presidential election going and everything too, you know, and you stuck through us through that. And again, thank you. We had folks call us up, the death of a loved one, the death of a mother, then the death of a father, within three months of each other, okay, losing mom and dad. And we're the first call after the service because they see us as the ones to help take care of things. Thank you. Again, that trust you place in us in that type of a situation, it's immeasurable. You've called us when your child is getting married. You've called us when you are having a baby. You've called us when you've had a grandbaby. Thank you for sharing in that with us because we want to be a family with you too. You've called us when you face some of your worst moments. You've called us to share with us when your daughter has gone through a divorce. Just, I can't imagine the pain of that for a parent. And you had us help that person that was going through that divorce. That type of trust is un unlike anything we can do. This is more than when someone earns something for selling an investment. Okay, that trust level just means everything to us and to me, and thank you. And we are here to continue to help you with those things. Uh, you called us up when your child got accepted to UGA. You've called us when uh, you're facing college costs and trying to figure them out. Thank you. Again, we're here for that trust. You've trusted us and it's just unlike anything that I can't say thank you enough for that. There's no fee that we charge that endears us or the right to have the trust that you provide on us. You have many other choices and you've chosen us. I just wanna say thank you. Now in 2021, we're gonna have a vaccine. In fact, if you wanna watch a date by the way right now, and this has already been published, watch for December the 10th, because on December the 8th through the 10th is when the FDA is meeting to provide emergency approval. Uh, right now for Pfizer, maybe Moderna as well, depending on the timing, but we're going to probably get emergency use on that vaccine. And in 2021, we're going to be, we're going to start getting vaccinated on this. It's going to look a little bit different this time next year, we certainly all hope, okay? And maybe next year you can go to a baseball game again. And maybe next year your child is going to get married and maybe you can actually gather and have a wedding again. Maybe this time next year we have a little more semblance of normalcy. But I, for one, will never forget that when 2020 came and when all these challenges hit, you had a choice as to who you would trust with your business and with your help financially and with your parents' assets after someone passed, you chose us. And I just wanted to say thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving this week. Uh, I hope you have a restful time. Um, you know, I, and I also hope that between now and maybe next year, we're all talking about getting together again at our local churches for Christmas Eve services. Let's all remember that because that's a tough one to swallow right now, not having that. But I just want all of you all to stay safe, healthy. God bless you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving.